What's up, guys? Zach Man with a video update on Tron, TRX, and Bitcoin. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin right now on the one hour chart. Uh, the Bitcoin USD dollar. So basically, right now, uh, we're trading right around 38. Uh, we kind of, you know, almost got to uh, four again over the weekend. Uh, you know, 39, 46, it looks like. So we've seen a little spike here, kind of going up, a little downtrend. But the uh, nice thing is that we hit a lower, lower low and a lower low here. So we hit a higher high unfortunately we couldn't do that here but uh, we'll see what happens we should see another outbreak um to the uptrend here with bitcoin kind of see if it uh, stops a little bit lower than the high or if it goes higher than the previous high so kind of keep an eye on that um should see it still going up uh, which is pretty positive we look at the day chart uh, the 24-hour chart uh, it's a little sideways a little stagnant uh, we kind of hit the a resistant line right here so this is probably the wedge that we can follow uh, leading up until about the end of March and then we'll kind of see if it breaks one of those uh, points there but uh, again obviously the main uh, support line is right down here uh, from the previous uh, past lows so uh, keep an eye on that um, Tron uh, looking at the hour chart still not very good I mean we're kind of still in that selling area which is not very positive you know, we're staying right around 600 satoshis um are roughly right around like two cents in us dollar but uh you know if you trade tron uh, with bitcoin which is what i do or that's why i hold it anyways i shouldn't say i don't i don't day trade tron but uh again you know it's not really it's kind of staying down i mean it's not with everything going on uh, which we'll get into here a little bit about some articles so uh, we're got, finding some support uh, right around 560 Satoshis. Um, again, not much, you know, you know, for breaking out or nothing like that. Just kind of up and down, up and down. So no really big breakout since uh, the beginning back in January, which is unfortunate. But uh, so Tron long term uh, trend range, like I said, the supply zones, four cents, five cents, six cents. Uh, demand zone is right around one cent. Um, a little bit less and then about half a cent almost so that's just kind of the supply and demand zone on that so tron like i said it's still struggling uh, to break out can bit toward token launch help so obviously we kind of get into it i'll talk about um, again how and when justin sun uh, obviously took over BitTorrent, all that kind of fun stuff like i said you know tron you know it's doing a lot i mean it's got a big community following it a lot of developments going on but yet it's still struggling to break out um, which is unfortunate because uh, the last time that it broke out, which it reached right around 22 cents, and there's really not much, nothing like compared to what's got going on right now. Obviously, the whole market's down because uh, of Bitcoin. Uh, but, uh, you know, just considering how many dApps and all that stuff has, it's just crazy to think that, you know, the price compared to XRP and all that stuff, like even, you know, it should be even if, even if it's at five cents, that'd be nice right now. But, um, and then again, obviously, you know, last July, Sean got uh, BitTorrent. Um, and obviously the BTT token launch. Uh, so soon after the uh, 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 Justin Sun bought it, uh, basically, you know, we had the airdrops, which this uh, today was the second one, uh, the eleventh. So this is the second airdrop now. Um, so I think that uh, I got another article on that, but that went pretty good. But uh, yeah, it's just crazy to see uh, everything that's going on. You know, the token that uh, it planned to open up a test mode in the second quarter of 2019, and if su successful. They'll become available to BitTorrent, 100 million users worldwide, while the development uh, represents a potentially huge push for cryptocurrency adoption. It's important to note that the majority of BitTorrent users are not currently involved in cryptocurrency, and that may take some time for them to get on board, which that does make sense. You know, uh, a lot of the you know people that are users of BitTorrent never probably weren't, you know, maybe like 1% of that was involved in crypto. So trying to get everybody used to what's going on and how to get into it maybe that's what's kind of taking so long i guess i don't know but uh in the build up to the test launch tron has been uh, conducting two ways of BitTorrent token airdrops over the past few days all tron users uh with an active trx wallet wallet that can be received uh free btt and uh, tokens in the drops the second of which will end in a few days so again that's kind of what's happening on today but uh like i said it does make sense that you know a lot of the users uh that are involved uh, you know not really involved in it but Hopefully that'll kind of start changing, um, especially towards the end of the quarter, end of the year, basically. Um, 
So again, uh, you know, Tron has acquired the, the BitTorrent project back in July of 2018. It seems that all the hype around it was for a good reason. Uh, BitTorrent uh, continues to uh, boost its powerful, especially or, uh, power, especially after the launch of Bit or BTT token. And this event marked the fastest token sale in the crypto. It did it? It sold out within like it was like 13 minutes or something like that. There was like a couple billion tokens sold, I believe. Um, and obviously, BitTorrent runs smooth, fast, and safely. Justin Sun. Uh, is an essential voice in the crypto space who's advocating the uh, the need for the decentralized uh, safety and speed crypto transactions. I haven't really heard much on the, I know we're going private, I should you know do a little bit more research on that, but I haven't heard much on that either. Um, the whole uh, making Tron uh, privatized and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, BitTorrent uh, is, a, is powered by the Tron blockchain technology and seems to operate with maximum efficiency and speed. Um, everything that uh, the expectations that, that were had. The Tron CEO also said that BitTorrent, the demo highlight, optimum uh, decentralization, uh, but everything, like I said, all the transactions executed, everything's been going according to plan other than uh, the, the price of Bit, uh, um, Bitcoin, or not Bitcoin, but uh, Tron, obviously, that's not the, the going up at all, which is unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, nothing happened. There was no crashes. Like that one guy that used to be part of BitTorrent before it got bought out said that it would never work. There's no way that it could work with that type of, uh, um, you know, that mass or whatever. So everything's been going smoothly when it comes to the, the BitTorrent ecosystem with the TRX ecosystem and transactions and all that kind of stuff. So everything's going really, really well, which is uh, good news, obviously. So I uh, hope that keeps up. Um, obviously, you know, like I said, the, the, the price prediction... Of uh, Tron, obviously, I don't know. A lot of people are, you know, were saying that it was going to be at five or ten cents by this time last year, um, or at the beginning of this year they said that, but unfortunately, it is not. Um, so the next resistance support areas are, like I said, right around the three and a half cents, the six cents. Um, the strength uh, index, the RSI, is at fifty, indicating uh, neither overbought nor oversold conditions. So we're kind of in a little bit of a sideways. Uh, market, but there is uh, currently support at about tw uh, almost three cents. The MACD chart has made a bullish cross and it's uh, almost positive. Uh, the price is above the seven period moving average, but is facing resistance from the 21 moving average. Um, but again, these are all just uh, indicators and stuff like that, but nobody really knows exactly where it's going to go, unfortunately. But uh, eventually, uh, people do believe that it's going to break the resistance line of three and a half cents. And head to over the resistance of six. Uh, kind of see what happens there. But uh, yeah. So this is kind of keep on uh, watching Tron. Like I said, it's, it's doing good things. I mean, there's no doubt about that at all. Everything that's going on with uh, the BitTorrent. And, you know, it's just a matter of everybody getting on board and understanding it. And like I said, a lot of the BitTorrent users actually starting uh, crypto and learning it. And getting, in, getting involved and getting TRX and what, you know, transferring BitTorrent to TRX, you know, that should drive the price up too. So I uh, just kind of hopefully again in the second quarter or the next half or even the third quarter, but I think the, the fourth quarter we should see a big boost. I've, I've, I'd say we should be at least four or five cents by the end of the year. Um, just given how everything's been. And if you look at XRP, it got added, added uh, to Coinbase even, and that didn't really do much. As far as up into price, it actually kind of went down a little bit. Uh, so even if we get on Coinbase or Coinbase, Coinbase, I really don't see a huge, huge breakout just because of you know what happened with XRP. But um, maybe just a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Just that obviously, that's, especially what's going on with Coinbase right now, they're getting a little bit. Uh, people aren't liking them for joining up with a company reportedly hacking or whatever it is. So. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.